Hi guys, we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the MK3S clone. Uh, so I just got this box. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the goods. Um, I ordered this because uh, I wasn't able to get a hold of real Perusa and then you know I just wanted to check it out see how good it is. So let me just grab everything out first. So it comes with everything except for the actual 3D printed parts which you need to 3D print or you can actually probably get it from another person. So let's go ahead and check out what's inside here. High accuracy YTP. So you got these ball bearings. So so nice ball bearings here. Um, ball bearings. Are they, are they any nice? Okay, ball bearings, they look all right. All right, ball bearings. Um, you got all the screws and parts you need here. Hopefully everything's there. Oh yeah, you see. So I'm gonna leave that a little li linear bearings. Uh, a bunch of parts. You got that box. And you got a box of electronics, LCD. All right, LCD connector. This is from SYE Tech, uh, Feist Tech, FIE. I don't know how to say it. Uh, Feist Tech, Feist Tech. All right, LCD module. We've also got Feist Tech 5015 fan. Perfect. Some belts, pulleys, uh, rubber stops, 4010 hot end fan, uh, non genuine fake E3D. Um, I don't know how well it will work. I have another clone that I've, I have here that ordered. <laughs> I don't know how these will perform, but we can go and swap it out for better hot ends if it doesn't print good. Okay. We've got more stuff here, some cables, nice uh, hot end cables, um, sensor, an older pin to cell sensor. We've got filament sensor here. And we got a control board. Rambo, INC, something, something, I think. This is for MK3S. All right, I built MK3S Plus, but this is gonna be interesting. Okay, put that aside. Whew. We got the power supply, 3D printed. Power supply, part of the casing there. All right, there's a switch for 110 and 220 volts. All right, this should give us plenty of power. And we've got some extrusion. All right, extrusion, very nice, nice, nicely cut. I don't see anything wrong with them. Nice cutouts. All right, very nice finish, flat finish. This should work just fine. Keep okay, that aside here. That's probably the, one of the first things we need. And we've got the motors. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one to show you guys. They look very similar to the Perusa ones, step motors. I don't think step motors make a huge difference in quality of your prints, um, but we'll find out. But they look pretty decent. Nothing wrong with it. All right, very good clone. We'll find out after we build it all. Uh, we've got the hot bed. Uh, 
All right. Nice solid uh, heat bed thing there. Got some film. More tape. And we've got a nice magnetic steel bed. I don't think it's PEI. Okay, the, the bed you might want to use original, so that's something I might replace. Okay, you got the heat bed. This is probably the most important. Nice solid material. Same as the original, I'm not sure. This is jeans edition. All right, that's pretty much all that comes in the box. Let me show you the sheet. This is not, this is just a regular steel sheet. There's no PEI coating sticker. I have an extra one, so I can just go ahead and use a genuine one. Yeah. It snaps on nice. It actually works fine too. Um, so that's all that's in the boxes. I'm gonna start putting it up together. Um, obviously, this is my first build with the clone, so. Oh, sorry. We forgot the. This guy here. Okay, quality rails. Yeah, looks fine. Good looking rails. Um, so pretty solid parts for a clone. I hear a lot of people, I hear it mixed out there. A lot of people are actually printing just as good with this original. Um, of course, I do recommend getting the original Perusa, but you know, sometimes it, you can't get, you just can't get a hold of Perusa stuff on time. So I just wanted to try this and figure out. Ooh. A lot of stuff to work with here. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna start building it tomorrow. I'll have a time lapse, or uh, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.